Hello and welcome to the lecture series on monetary economics. So today I have for you the functions and importance of a financial system. But before getting into that, let us acknowledge that financial system helps in production, capital accumulation and growth. And in the present lecture, we will understand how it is doing so. So the first point to understand of the first function or the point of importance is inducement to save. Inducement to save. The financial system promotes savings by providing a wide array of financial assets as a store of value aided by services of financial markets and intermediaries of various kinds. So what is effectively happening is how financial system promotes uh, savings is that it is providing us with the help of various financial assets which can be used as a store of value. So I hope you can recollect what store of value particularly means, which are aided by the services provided in the financial markets and the various kinds of intermediate intermediaries providing those services. So that is how financial system is helping us to promote saving or to induce uh, or to increase the kind of uh, inducement or push to move towards savings. Yeah. So this is the first point of importance or the first function of financial system. Let us now move to the second, which is called as mobilization of savings. The financial system provides mechanism. Now what it is doing is in the first, I have given you an idea of how you can save with the help of different assets which are available in the financial system or financial markets and the, there are different underlying financial institutions to help you do that. But what is happening with respect to mobilization of savings is the financial system is providing you with the mechanism for mobilizing the savings. For example, what is effectively happening is usually the public holds its savings in the form of money. Yeah, but money is not the only way to mobilize savings. The financial systems, for example, provide with an automatic deduction. Now the financial system is helping us with something called as automatic deduction at source, which helps in promote uh, uh, promotion of uh, savings in provident funds or other different kinds of instruments of saving. Yeah. So or the schemes of saving. So this is how the mobilization of saving is being aided by financial system with the help of underlying mechanism to do so. Yeah. So this is again second point of importance or the function of a financial system. Let us now move to the third important point, which is allocation of funds, how financial systems are helping us to allocate funds efficiently and effectively. Now, another important function of financial system is to arrange smooth, efficient and socially equitable allocation of credit. What it is doing is we have seen that financial intermediaries, that is the banks and various other institutions, they are mobilizing savings from the people, right? They are mobilizing it from the people. It is mobilizing the money from whom the individuals who we term as lenders and providing it to whom the borrowers. But this function is being the, the allocation of the money or credit. This function is carried out smoothly, efficiently and socially equitably only with the help of a financial system yeah with the help of a underlying financial system that is why this point is of immense importance when we learn the importance and functions of a financial system let us now move to the fourth serving production trade and investment how financial system is serving all of these now financial system we have seen in the previous uh, two three points that helps in saving it helps in mobilization it helps in allocation yeah these functions of savings mobilization and allocation are essentially for production for capital formation and for growth yeah these are essential for these three important functions now the financial system is further aiding in what it enlarges greatly the availability of assets to individuals as well as firms individuals as well as firms aiding the production decisions the trade decisions and the investment decisions available to individuals as well as firms that is why it helps in or it serves production trade and investment decisions so i hope the points of importance or the functions of financial system are pretty much clear so please stay tuned. I'll be mo making more videos with respect to monetary economics. Thank you.